What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanted to show you guys if you're working in Mega Scans, how you can convert your Redshift materials over to the new node editor. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I have Cinema 4D open. I have the latest version, R21.115. And so what I wanna do now is come over to my render settings, come over to render, make sure I'm set in Redshift. Same thing in my node space, make sure I'm in Redshift. I can exit that out. Then I'm gonna come over to Mega Scans Bridge. Let's find a cool model to bring over. So this Mossy Rock one looks cool. Let me go to my export settings. Come down here in my lower right hand corner, hit export. Export successful. So I can close this out now. And if I look in cinema, now I have my model here and I have my texture. Let me make this a little bit larger. There we go. And if I double click on my material, you can see that it's in the old Redshift shader graph using the Expressos. So if we wanna switch over to the new node system, it's real easy. Just come up to Redshift, come down to materials, and then we come down to tools. And down here, you'll see that we can now convert to nodes or we can convert and replace the nodes. What I'm gonna do is let's click on convert and replace nodes. And if I double click on it now, you can see that it's inside the new node graph that we have with Redshift. Let me come up to my render view, click play. And you can see everything rendered out fine. I'm not sure why it looks like this inside the viewport, but I mean, this just came out and so everything renders fine though. And so basically, that's just my quick tip on if you want to use the new shader graph node system here in Redshift, that's exactly how you convert it over. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you're like me, you use Cinema 4D, Mega Scans, and Redshift all the time, this is a quick and easy way you could convert everything over to the new node editor. So if this did help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below, subscribe to that channel, click that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating, take care.